just because your puppy doesn't know when it's a special day, it doesn't mean you can't celebrate. Whether it's a holiday involving gifts, your puppy's birthday, or celebrating his gotcha day, it's always fun to get a few amazing gifts for your furry friend. Now, if you're overwhelmed with the choices at the pet store, this video is for you. Or if you're watching this and you have a friend who's about to get a new puppy, this is definitely for you. These 10 suggestions will propel you to best friend status with your human and canine friend. Let's go. Before we get started on these great gifts, here's my full disclosure. If you purchase one or more of these gifts from the links below, I might make a few cents off each one. Let me stress that, just a few pennies, maybe enough to buy pickles a bag of treats. My motivation isn't the money. I just wanna give you these 10 amazing ideas that are tested by my own dogs, the dogs on the team, and our students' dogs. I want you to feel secure that these gifts are independently field tested and doggy approved. And if you're like me and you're tired of spending $5.99 on a toy and it lasts for 30 seconds, and these items stand the test of time, and many of them are flexible enough for multi-types of activities. So let's get going on our puppy gift list. Number one, the flirt pole. I love this thing so much, so many dogs do. Dogs love to chase, it's in their DNA. So this fun pole allows you to tie anything you want on the end. Try tying your dog's current favorite toy or chew toy wrapped in a towel or anything else your dog loves. And one feature of this toy is that it keeps the dog engaged in something that is pretty far away from your hands. Many of my students say that the toy was a lifesaver during that land shark teething phase. Oh, and it's also a great toy for kids to play with the puppy too. But wait, listen to this important pro tip. We don't want our dogs to jump up to play with this toy. That repetitive movement isn't good for growing joints. So keep the flirt pole on the ground and let your pup chase it. Let him catch it once in a while too. Playing keep away without any wins will cause your dog a lot of frustration. Number two. The Holy Roller. What is this? Well, it looks some kind of like some space ball. It's a super flexible toy that can be used for tons of different things, including a fetch ball, a licky toy, or even a puzzle toy. You can weave in some towels through it, tie it to the end of a flirt pole, or even use it for a gentle game of tug. If you need some ideas on all the fun things to do with it, check out my video on this topic. There are actually 10 ways to repurpose this ball. That's why it's one of my favorite dog toys. They make different sizes too, in different shapes. All right, number three, a Kong or a Westpaw Topple. I love these really hard rubber toys. They're great for stuffing food in them and letting your dog lick out the good stuff. I like to freeze them, so it takes longer for the dogs to get everything out. And the Westpaw Topple's usually better for young puppies because it's easier to get all the stuff out. Kongs might be better if your dog needs more of a challenge or you need it to last longer. Kong just came out with a nifty tray that makes filling and freezing even easier. I have a whole video with ideas for filling Kongs, so search the channel if you need some suggestions. Number four, a licky mat. Licking is a stress reliever for your dog. This is a great activity after an energetic play session or a stressful vet visit. It's also helpful for situations when your dog needs a distraction, like in the bathtub, or when you're training her to be calm while putting on a harness. Now, I like to spread a pet safe peanut butter or a little cream cheese on this licky mat. Number five, a snuffle mat. This is a mat that has all kinds of little crevices in it that you can hide treats and kibble. There are so many cute varieties of these mats, or you can make your own. I actually think that you should get more than one kind. Each one will be just a little bit of a different experience for your dog. You can rotate them so they have a new and different feeling. And of course you can offer different treats to make it a new experience for your dog too. Now I like the snuffle mats that have a variety of textures or compartments for all the extra canine brain workout. Number six, the chuck it ball. This is also another fan favorite. It's open, which means it's easy for your dog to grab, it bounces easily, and it's also safe if the dog gets it caught in its mouth. The openness allows for air to get through just in case the dog gets it lodged in his throat. And yes, this actually happens more than you think. I also like to smear some yumminess inside it, and it can be used as a licking toy, or you can tie it to the end of the floor pole. Just like the Holy Roller, you can also use it as a gentle tug toy. They do make these balls in a lot of different sizes and shapes too. Are you loving this great info? If you love our stuff, please let us know. Leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, or use the super things. All right, we have even more great ideas for you. Are you ready? Number seven, 
a treat dispensing toy. There are so many different toys where you can just fill it with kibble or treats and your dog has to figure out how to get them out. These keep getting reused over and over again, so it's a great value for your money. Experiment with different sized treats so your dog has to work hard to get the yummy stuff out. We did a little experiment with several different kinds and our favorites were the Bobalot, the Snoop, and the Kong Wobbler. Number eight a mental exercise toy like an eye dig or a puzzle toy. Now these items can cost a little more, but I think they're worth it because they rarely wear out. My students love the eye dig and also puzzle toys where your dog has to nudge things out of the way to get out the good stuff. So these should be in rotation so your dog doesn't get bored, but they're also great for rainy days or snowy days too. Now, if you have a brand new puppy, she might not be ready for this kind of toy just yet, so save it until she's a little bit older and gets a little better at figuring puzzles out. Number nine, this next gift idea is free. Give your dog your time. Dogs are social creatures and they love to be with their humans. So give your dog the gift of your undivided attention. Have a fun play session with some of these toys or go on a decompression walk for some long and calming sniffs. Or if your dog's love language is touch, just take a break for some lap snuggles or calming rubs. Remember that your dog can't pursue hobbies unless you make them happen. So plan time each day to meet his or her needs. Number 10. This is my favorite, training. Now your dog is not a human, but we're asking her to live in a human world. The least we could do is help her understand our rules and teach these rules in a way that's pleasant and positive. Now, whether it's learning to love the crate, greeting guests nicely at the door, walking calmly on a leash or staying away from the food on the counters, you can teach her how you want her to behave. Now, if you need a guide for any of that, you know where to find me. My online course will help you with all the fun training games that will help you with your dog's good manners and help you avoid the puppy blues. The link is below. You can get started on the games today. All right, the items I talked about today, again, can all be found in the links below. But if you're more creative and like a little more DIY, check out this great video about the things you can get at the dollar store. You'll start to see how to think like a dog trainer when it comes to finding fun activities. And once you see these great ideas, every store you walk into has some sort of canine toy and enrichment option. Do you already have some fun DIY ideas? Comment them below and share with the other viewers. We really do read and respond to every comment. We love them all. All right, this is your favorite dog trainer and gift giver, wishing you a happy and successful shopping experience.